hello and welcome to Tradeflow Television. Bringing you valuable analysis and actionable intelligence through the global commodity markets. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Ukrainian soft milling wheat export prices have fallen by $10 to $11 per tonne over the past week mostly due to a jump in Russian grain exports ahead of forthcoming exports restrictions, APK Inform Agriculture Consultancy said on Monday. Asking prices for Ukrainian origin 12.5% protein wheat stood at $280 to $288 per tonne FOB Black Sea, the consultancy said in a report. Lower quality 11.5% wheat quoted between $278 and $286 per tonne, it said. Hedge funds are turning bullish on oil once again, betting the pandemic and investors' environmental focus has severely damaged companies' ability to ramp up production. Such limitations on supply would push prices to multi-year highs and keep them there for two years or more, several hedge funds said. The view is a reversal for hedge funds, which shorted the oil sector in the lead up to global shutdowns, landing energy-focused hedge funds gains of 26.8% in 2020, according to data from Investment. By virtue of their fast-moving strategies, hedge funds are quick to spot new trends. U.S. crude has climbed 54% to around $57 per barrel during the same period. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Russian oil exports via the northern section of the Druzhba pipeline to Poland and Germany fell to 2.26 million tons in January from 2.82 million tons in December amid a price row between buyers and sellers, two sources familiar with export data told Reuters on Friday. Rosneft and Sergutneftegaz decreased their oil supplies to Poland and Germany amid price disputes with European refiners following the fall in profitability of Druzhba pipeline supplies compared with seaborne Urals exports. As a result, Urals oil shipments via the route declined some 20% in January 2021 from December 2020. Oil prices rose on Monday to their highest in just over a year, with Brent nudging past $60 a barrel, boosted by supply cuts among key producers and hopes for further U.S. economic stimulus measures that can boost demand. Brent was up 68 cents, or 1.2 percent, at $60.02 a barrel by 14.42 GMT, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate CLC1 rose 68 cents, or 1.2 percent, to $57.53 a barrel. Managing to breach $60 again feels like the market is finally resurfacing after the long struggle and, taking, a proper breath, said Ristad Energy's Vice President for Oil Markets Paula Rodriguez Maciu. It offers a feeling of normality again. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. China's aluminium sector must shut dedicated power capacity equivalent to more than Germany's entire coal fleet over the next decade to keep Beijing on track to meet its carbon pledges, climate think tank Ember says. China accounts for more than half of global aluminium production, churning out 37 million tons in 2020. President Xi Jinping has vowed China will achieve peak emissions by 2030 and carbon neutrality before 2060. Ember, in a report to be published on Monday, says China's record aluminium output last year emitted more CO2 than some entire countries, including Indonesia and Brazil. Diamond jewelry demand will recover to pre-pandemic levels between 2022 and 2024, with China leading the way, a report commissioned by the Antwerp World Diamond Center predicted. Demand recovery will diverge depending on lockdown policies, government support, and the extent to which retailers manage to shift sales online, said the report by consulting group Bain. The diamond industry was already under stress before 2020, but although the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated this, the report said it is well placed to recover. China's diamond jewelry demand will recover fully this year, while in India it will only recover by end 2023 or 2024, with the US expected to recover by 2022-2023. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. China's most active hog futures contract surged more than 4% on Monday and shares of the country's biggest pig producer rallied after recent reports highlighted severe disease outbreaks in the world's largest pig herd. 
The reports fueled investor concerns about pig supply and bets that prices will rise. The hog futures contract closed 4.08% firmer at 26,900 yuan per ton, its highest since trading on the Dalian Commodity Exchange launched last month. Shares in the country's top pig breeder Muyuan Foods 002714. SC surged 9.3% on Monday to 116 yuan. Finally, we have the most recent news on the financial market. Elon Musk launched a pair of potential game-changing shifts for Bitcoin on Monday, promising Tesla Inc. would take payment for its electric vehicles in the currency soon and revealing it had already bought $1.5 billion worth of it. The announcements, buried deep in Tesla's 2020 annual report, drove a 10% surge in the world's best-known and most-held cryptocurrency and followed several social media posts by Musk that have sent the currency and other assets higher in recent weeks. Analysts said it could help accelerate a move for Bitcoin move towards the mainstream that has seen both PayPal, also co-founded by Musk, and huge global money manager BlackRock move to accept the currency. That is all for today's news on the commodity market. Stay tuned to Trade Flow TV as we continue to provide you with more updates. You can also follow us on Twitter at TradeFlowTV1 which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop.